Hello and welcome back to Cold Waters. Uh, last summer, the summer of 2023, I created a video that was uh, something along the lines of torpedo evasion mostly. And um, I had a lot of fun in the game, had a lot of fun in the video. Basically, I headed out into the deep blue ocean on, helm, steady course. on a one to one against another submarine. Um, and basically troll him to try and get uh, the other submarine to shoot torpedoes at me. I'm going to do something similar today. This is not a scripted video, but I know that out there are between two and five Russian submarines. Um, combination of attack boats and um, either boomers or cruise missile carriers or a, a less offensive and offensive in this scheme here means not designed to find me and kill me, designed to evade me avoid being killed by me. And I'm in a Los Angeles. I'm actually in the uh, Augusta, I believe. USS uh, 700, I think. So, yeah. I've just started the mission. Uh, we are in the middle of the, I think it's the North Sea. Might be the Atlantic. Doesn't really matter. It's sea. It's deep. Um, there's a lot of water to cover. And I'm pleased to say that there's a duct. And a duct, well, we'll talk a little bit more about this um, as the as the battle unfolds. A change in the temperature and or the, the salinity, may have said that incorrectly, means that sound does not propagate the same way as it crosses the duct. We're below the duct right now, which means, in theory, we should be able to hear most things that are also below the duct. Now, that said, it's going to depend on a lot of different factors. One of which is how close we are to the other the other submarine, and the other one is um, how much noise they're making and how much noise we're making. One difference I'm making to between this video and the last one is I've made the crew uh, voices much quieter. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, rise to the surface. I see nothing on the sonar right now, which is immediately worrying. Okay, there's a periscope depth, and I'm going to just raise my ESM mast. Anything out there that has got a radar pointing in my direction? Oh, I pushed it again. Try that. There's nothing out there that would appear to be pointing a radar in my direction, so let's try the periscope and the radar. Do we see anything? I mean, I can look at look through the periscope if I so feel like it. Take a look, what have we got? Yeah, there's like nothing out there. Nothing but, uh, well, let's see, okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and put the periscope down. And in fact, the ESM right now. So there's nothing out there that we can detect. So uh, let's go ahead and get my depth to, um, put it out to 600 feet. Like so. And we're gonna just uh, accelerate time. Um, let me just uh, turn to starboard slightly. Okay, that, that'll do. I get my heading around about the 235. So we're pointing through. There we go. Pro, whoops. That's close enough. Pretty much pointing southwest. We did detect something to the southwest. And that was at the start of the mission. And now there's nothing there. Well,. That makes me suspicious. There's going to be something out there. We just don't know where the heck it is. What I want to do in today's uh, today's mission is provoke the Russians. I want to get them to fire the torpedoes on me. And all being well, with fair, wind, with fair winds, I'll lead their torpedoes back to their boats so they can sink themselves. So um, we didn't even fire a shot. It wasn't me. Yeah. Well, Oh, hello. One, two, one, designated Sierra one. We'll see how that works, right? I'm gonna oh, good grief. Sierra Let's take one. off at the right time. Uh, yeah, hello. That is uh he's close. I mean we, we can't detect him now, but he was pretty close. I'm turning towards him. Identified it was a Vector 3 already. I guess we'll uh, point Come to the east and hit the right time again. See if we can pick him up. I. 
Nothing. I, I didn't forward. even know what depth he was. I didn't have a chance to, to check that out. Hey, there's nothing there. Uh, well, let's go to 250 depth. I'll have to keep changing my depth and see if we can pick him up. Or her. I think in the 1980s there were no female submar submariners, but I might, might be wrong. There he is. Okay. And he's about seven, eight hundred feet. Right, let's go down to his depth. And get all that nice raw clickiness from the mouse. Because I'm not narrating this, I'm doing this on the fly. He must be traveling... Oh, he's gone. He must be traveling from the southwest to the northeast. Well, it doesn't have to be. Come left to zero. Okay, bit more accelerate time. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra one last bearing oh. zero seven four contact faded. Con helm steady course. Still nothing. Con sonar new contact bearing okay. one three nine designated Sierra two. Let's look at Sierra two. Let's see what that might be. Would appear to be a Delta Three ballistic missile Con carrier. Sonar, okay, Sierra, two, that's most definitely a target. Submerged submarine. And I would really love um, to uh, to launch a torpedo at this guy. I don't I don't know his range. I launch a torpedo at him. That is going to provoke everything else. And there's at least one other submarine out there, and probably more, to um, to drop a torpedo in my direction. Then that may help me. It's estimated at four and a half thousand yards away, which is not that close, but close Gun enough. Eight, zero, zero, eight, dive this eight. is depth, a little, little less deep than me, a little shallower. So yeah, my, my plan here, if I can sneak up on, on these guys and then ping them at maybe a couple of thousand yards range, that's going to provoke them to drop at least one torpedo in my direction and possibly more. If I ping them at a distance, I'll figure out where everything else is, but the chances are the SSBM is going to make a run for it, and although I can catch him, I won't be able to hear much. He doesn't need to hear me if he's running away from me. He just needs to hear my torpedoes. Okay, he's doing 11 knots. He's not hanging around. Okay, let's look at my uh, computer here on the bottom right. So, it estimates that if he pings me with active sonar, he's going to get 19 decibels. That's enough to, to hear me. Okay. Passive, minus 14. He's not going to hear me passively. So I can increase my speed and he won't be able to hear me. The Victor 3, Sierra 1, submerged contact number 1. Yeah, I'm potentially in his baffles by now. I'm certainly behind him. So I think I can increase speed and get close to this Delta III, but I'm not going to catch him very easily. So I think I'm going to have to do the, the time-honored approach of um, knocking on the front door and let's switch to active sonar. In fact, let's go to... I'd say let's go to um, ultra-silent mode, but I don't think I need to. What am I going to do? I can drop some decoys and fire them, but I'm going to get those ready, I think. It, I'm going to create a bit more noise when I do that, but oh, that's okay. I don't know whether he'll hear me or not, let's see. Uh, so right now, uh, in the bow, I've got two crewmen um, loading the, the different torpedo, and they'll be doing it as quiet as they can, but that's still going to be creating more noise. He's still not going to hear me. Let's accelerate time for a little bit. Con, torpedo room, two, two, ready. It's both tubes. I'm going to go up to ten knots. Main turns. Just to keep one, the speed zero, going. Nine, maneuvering eye. Right. So we now have two MOS decoys ready, and uh, he's still not going to be able to hear me. I think it's time to um, give everyone a little ping. Oh, he's turning towards me, right? Let's go to ultra, for ultra quiet. quiet mode, like so. That's gonna 
deploy the towed array, get my uh, speed down to five knots, make the boat as quiet as we possibly can, and let's go active. All right, this is when everything is going to go wrong. Oh, all right. Con sonar okay. switching to active search. Single ping, and Con I'm just going to turn that off. Switching right. the passive search. What do we get? All right, let's watch, see what this Delta Three does. Menacing shape. That those uh, those missiles is carrying on its back. They're a threat. A threat to threat to uh, the Western world, at least in the game. So it's, he's diving. Okay. Let's have a think. He's diving. He may not be. He must have heard that. Surely he's he's heard that. But he's taking no action. Hmm. Alright, it's a bit more accelerate time. No action. That's worrying. Did he not hear me? Do we try again? Yeah, I guess we do. Con sonar switching to active right. search. Accelerate time with uh, active right now. He's turning away. Yep, yeah, and he's pinging me back. Con sonar switching the passive search. He's six and a half thousand yards away. He's moving away from me. He's still going at eleven knots. He has has he changed his depth? Nope, still the same depth. And he's not firing at me. But I know that there's a Vector 3 circling around somewhere. Don't want to drop a torpedo on this Delta 3's tail to chase him. He's not gonna hear me. He's not even gonna hear the torpedo when it approaches. Yep, let's go ahead and do it because hey. Oh, that's disappointing. Alright, so we lost the wire immediately. That means I no longer have control over that torpedo. And that means it could be led back to me. I mean, it could be anyway, of course. He's still pinging me. He'll get an idea of my heading and my my well, my velocity. So my heading and my, and my speed. I'm going to just accelerate time, see what happens here. I'm expecting a torpedo to arrive from the northeast, but so far, nothing. Nothing at all. Right. Oh, there's noise maker. He's taking evasive action. My torpedo is now hunting him. I got him. Okay. This has been not what I expected so far. I genuinely thought that the bad guys would be on my case about it, but no. There's nothing, there's nothing there. In fact, they won't even select me, alright? I'm gonna go active again. Con sonar, switching to active I gotta find the, these other Russian submarines. Oh, that's not good. That's Con really sonar, not good. Switching the passive search. That is a torpedo. Um, who's this? Oh boy. That's a torpedo, a rocket launch torpedo um, sent from the enemy submarine. And he's firing it in my vicinity, so uh, I don't like that. I really don't like that. I'm going to have to get. Yeah, it's right behind me. Okay. Go ahead and uh, punch out of here. Let's um, move into flank speed like so. Uh, it's diving on me. I think he's detected me. Yeah. Okay. I gotta turn turn towards him and then climb. All right. So I'm turning towards him to try and uh, change the angle here. The idea is is that um, he won't be able to make the turn as tight as me because I'm coming right at him basically. Climbing because changing that 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 angle that he has to his torpedo has to make. I, I skip there, so I'm going to go ahead and straighten everything up. Okay. So, depending on how smart this torpedo is, it should rise and follow me. So I'm going to attempt to avoid it. So I'm going to dive and go hard to starboard. The idea here is I'll drop drop below it. I don't have the test depth necessarily to do this as effectively as I want, but we'll 
We'll try. Let's level off here. Yeah, he spotted me. Okay. That 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 didn't work. Oh well. So I'm about my test depth. I'm gonna have to um, level things out like so. I guess I'm gonna again turn hard to starboard, turn towards them, and this time I'm gonna um, put my bow planes up and just do three controls at once. It should create a knuckle. A knuckle is like a bubble of um, of air and water mixed up. It creates a lot of noise. It's a bit like your own personal noise maker that comes off the bass of your submarine and disrupts its sensors. Now, I think I can see the right of that torpedo's eyes right now. Yes, I think I really can, because that is my vessel. So, let, let's go. Okay. There we go. Let's switch to this view here. So, there's the knuckle. I'm climbing and how the starboard. I'm going to level off. Uh, stop turning at this point and just go up like a fart in a bath. Dang, he spotted me again. Okay, never mind. Um, yep, that's fine. I don't mind us cavitating. We'll do in a bit. Alright, so he's following me again. So, same technique, I think, again. I'm going to have to turn towards him. Uh, I mean, he's gaining on me. Um, maybe I'll try turning the starboard at first. Create a knuckle. Ooh. Go straight ahead again. Yep, so he's turning away. So let's go hard a port. Descend. Dive, dive, dive. Oh, no. <laughs> Someone else fired at me. Okay. That's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, what the heck happened? Something. Sonar, no longer cavitating. Okay, let's go ultra quiet. Actually, no, let's not go ultra quiet. Let's keep the speed up, I think, right now. Where the heck did that other torpedo come from? Okay, we must have come from the east then, because that's where there's a sonar ping. I know that it's out there somewhere. So all that happened there was that torpedo um, ran out of fuel and just prematurely detonated. Oh, that's so. This is kind of cheating. Oh, I can oh, see me anyway. When I say see, is detected me. Right, I'm going to turn towards it, and um, let's see if we can. Yeah, put my put my starboard uh, towards him. Straighten up here. Let's so make myself five degrees of port rudder. What I want to do here is this thing's going to get closer and closer and closer, and when it gets really close, yeah, which is pretty much now, when it gets really close, I'm going to dive and go hard port. Right, that's 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 close enough. So let's dive hard port. Let's put my ballast down as much as I can. So spiral down like so. This is really close. This is very close. okay. So it's missed. Let's reset my dive planes. Like so. Oh, oh, I'm going deep. This is not good. I've got to go up now. I'm going to get crushed. Okay. And I'm still turning towards it. Let's see. Oh, he spotted me again. Oh, well. Last, last plan and all that. So I'm now going to spiral up and see if we can just... See if you can miss me. Pass un underneath me, right? Oh no. Mm. Alright. I am going to uh, keep the battle planes pointing upwards. Let's check my damage. That, that's not good. That, that, that's really not good. Yeah, I'm sure we are. Periscope depth. Periscope depth and ultra quiet. No longer cavitating. Okay, so um, oh, I fired something right behind me. I gotta get um, oh, that one. That was surfacing, but dang, I did not mean to surface. Okay, 
Um, let's turn east. So this may work in my favour. I'll be creating quite a bit of noise on the surface, but this torpedo is running deep. And it probably can't hear me. I can just make out that outline of me here, turning, turning to, to starboard. So. Yeah, I have seem to have sat Ivan at this point. Weird. Both running deep. That's wonderful news. Because Ivan, he is uh, he's underneath that, that thermal layer and that moderate duct. There's a good chance that he doesn't hear me. Although that's awfully bloody loud. This could end in disaster very, very quickly. Con sonar, yep. in the okay, that's bad. Um, let's get a decoy off. Yeah, I don't care. Let's get another decoy off. Head east. That's heading east. I don't want to die because I'm damaged. Um, I will not be able to dive as deep as I want. Let's get some more torpedoes uh, loaded whilst we uh, wait for the inevitable calamity. Torpedo's tracking me, so this torpedo to my um, my southeast is tracking me. But I'm gonna turn back towards the surface running decoy. Like so, so hard to port. Giving him a knuckle. He may still be able to detect me. Um, that seems to be he can still detect me. That is not good. I guess we'll try a noise maker. See if that works. Don't like the sound of this. That is my submarine um, uh, deciding that it left something at the bottom of the ocean and it has to go investigate. So that's exactly how you don't play cold waters. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed that. I'm going to go ahead and close here and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, everyone.